guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm giving you my best tips to do your own at-home photo shoots for those that don't know me my name is Aid. I'm a music festival content creator I have a blog and a YouTube channel all about going to music festivals I have been a creator in this space since 2017 and I have been wanting to get around to this video idea of how to do your own at-home photo shoots with quarantine and everything that's been going on we have all these festival outfits that are just kind of getting dust because we're not able to wear them to events we might throw them on for live streams and whatnot and if you're feeling like your instagram content game has been lacking or you would like to step up your instagram content game i'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how i do my own at home photo shoots if you're new here i'd love it if you join the vibe tribe by hitting that subscribe button to vibe with me if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up i'm also on tiktok and instagram if you guys want to go follow me over there as well i will be listing off a lot of products that I use so I will link those down below for you guys if you guys want to use those and check those out feel free to do so and without further ado let's get into today's video so if you're like me like I was when I first started out and you're like how do I get started what are the things I need to worry about think about should I be getting certain equipment and you really can just start with your phone on the iPhone there is a setting for self timer and the way that it works is that you'll have a, there's a button here, it's three seconds or 10 seconds. And the way that that also works is that it will take a burst of photos. I think it takes about 10 photos. So even if you want to like slightly change up your pose a little bit, it'll be able to document all of that and you can select which ones you like best. So that is what I first used when I first started. And honestly, I was just propping up my phone wherever in my home and trying to get a good angle i had my phone up on a trash can i had my phone on the floor you kind of figure out what angles work best the two most important things you have to worry about is your lighting and then angles of course because you want the photo to look good you want to look good and everything like that and then you want to make sure that the photo is well lit i obviously have these two lights here in front of me i have two box lights I didn't buy these I think until last year I want to say so my first couple of at-home photo shoots I didn't have any lighting and I was solely relying on natural light or the lights in my apartment I kind of manipulated it in the editing process to make the lighting look a little bit better and I can do a whole video on editing later down the road if that's something you guys are interested in find a way to get that natural lighting find a way to prop up your phone against something if you're unable to get a tripod or afford lighting at this point whatever photos you take just take a bunch of them try out different poses see what you like and what you don't like and try different angles that's how you're able to know that okay this looks kind of weird you know what I mean I really took so many photos because I wasn't really comfortable with my body yet I didn't know how posing a certain way looked through the camera because obviously like you're posing and you think like oh yeah I look great and then you look at the photo and you're like nope that ain't it sis <laughs> so it's super important to take a bunch of photos just so you start getting comfortable with yourself and then if you do feel comfortable posting any of them perfect then you're done good to go repeat the process the next time you want to do it but if you don't like what you see then you can obviously just keep on tweaking keep on learning and find different ways that, that work obviously for angles higher up angles are going to make you look a little bit smaller if you go from a lower angle that is going to help you look longer and i'll put two examples of what that looks like and similar to like if someone was holding the camera like a lot of our friends we always say can you go a little lower we have people do those angles you really just want to try and mimic those angles but at home so that is how i started and that's how you can get started find those ways to find that natural lighting in your home or if you're blessed with really solid apartment or home lighting then you are good to go you won't need any any, to purchase any lighting or anything like that once I started to elevate my YouTube game and buy more equipment for myself that was when I decided to make the investment into two box lights a lot of people have ring lights you can totally get a ring light those are really affordable I think my two box lights were two for 60 I want to say or 70 I can't remember but I will link it down below for you guys and I'll put a picture up here on Amazon I personally like the box lights because I don't like seeing the ring in my eye for a ring light for some reason I don't know personal preference that's just me I like the two box lights because I can manipulate the lighting on both sides of my face I got this tip from Queen Sharon and she just started an Instagram account and a new YouTube account called Rave Hut I'll also link her down below because she's super awesome but that is why I have two box lights and that is also what helps me when I'm taking my photos because I'll be able to put lighting on both sides of me 
and it's really changed my game because if it's cloudy outside in Austin, if it's raining, if I had a long day and I wasn't able to shoot content until nighttime, I can shoot content now whenever I want and make it work for me, you know what I mean? So having that is really awesome. It allows you to make sure that you're gonna have good lighting no matter what for your photos. So that is definitely a great investment to make. The next investments I have made is tripods. Tripods are definitely great ways to stabilize your phone so you're not having to balance it on a bunch of random household items to get the angle that you want. I have a Manfrotto tripod. I use this for my camera. And then the Manfrotto tripod that I have, I will link down below. It came with one of these, um, a, not like an adapter, but basically like an adapter that I can attach this to the tripod and I'm able to attach my phone. This works with the Manfrotto, but it also works with a tripod that I got for my birthday from my friends. I got this for my birthday. It's from Amazon, so I will also link this one down below for you guys. But because of the way that this has the screws here and the screws here, I'm able to also use it on this tripod as well. It's kind of one of those universal kind of adapters. So I'll have it here. So now that that is put in here and then I'll usually take the case off <laughs> and then I'm able to put my phone in this way. This is what I use for my phone, um, photo shoots and my TikToks and everything like that. I don't take photos on my camera which I know I should be doing more, but I'm gonna be learning how to use my camera better with photos. But for now, I like the quality of my iPhone photos, so I just do that. But I'm able to take selfies, I'm able to take photos and everything like that, and I really like this tripod, so I will link it down below for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys the setup. <laughs> so I have the light here, and we have that light going. So I think this will work. We'll see how this goes. I've never done this before with this like out in here, but I like moved everything just to not cramp the vibe. And then I have two more little tripods. So this one came in my bundle that I got with my camera. Joby tripod, I love this tripod, but for some reason something happened and now something is loose. So like this isn't as sturdy anymore. So I'm not a fan of it anymore, which is really sad because I do really like using it. Um, and same thing, I'm able to attach the attachment from here to this, which is really nice. So if I'm not wanting to bring out the big tripod and I just need a little uh, holder for my phone, I'm able to bring out this one. But then I also have this one that I got from Amazon. It is a UB size tripod. This one I also really like, and it did come with this. So I actually got this recommendation from Tara O'Neill shout out i'll link her video down below she is the one that actually really helped me upgrade my um at home photo shoots as well she primarily uses this tripod and she'll attach it to say a tripod like this i will just rather use this one or this one i won't kind of combine the two the important thing here is this little guy so this is a bluetooth remote for your camera so what it does is that i'll turn it on here and there is a button for iOS or Android. You'll connect it to your phone through Bluetooth. You'll see here you have the A, B shutter and it's connected and then what, how that will work is it'll take photos that way and then I'm able to also do self timer. So this is how I take it is that I'll press the button and then the timer will go and then I'm able to take photos that way. So it works out super well. I'll throw some videos of like my little setup and how that all works with the Bluetooth remote but getting one of these Bluetooth remotes and then honestly if getting one of these little do hickeys to attach to some type of tripod, whether it's like one of these or one of these, can definitely help. I know Lauren Hutzel also does this as well on Instagram. Her captions are always like, my tripod was on point today. <laughs> you can always also just have the tripod, have this on there, press the timer and then go pose. I personally just like having the remote so I'm not having to like run back and forth and check. But what I'll do is I'll do like a test photo just to make sure that I like the placement of myself, that I like the angle, lighting's good, everything like that. And then from there, you just select your poses and you go. There's really not much else to it. For actual setup now, now that I have like a whole setup, what I'll basically do is I will set up the tripod <laughs> first, depending on where I want to have my photos at. 
So in this case, like for my bedroom, I will have it set up kind of in the middle of my room pointing towards where I want it to be. And then I will have a light on one side of the tripod and a light on the other side of the tripod. It's really hard, especially in my bedroom because I have a mirror. So I kind of want to make sure that the box lights don't get seen in the photos. That has been a little bit tricky to navigate, but we've kind of made it work. I'll turn the Bluetooth remote on and I'll take a couple task photos just to make sure I like the angle. I'll adjust if needed and then go from there. And then once I think it's good to go, I'll just take a bunch of pictures and try different things, try different poses. I'll adjust the tripod height to do different angles and stuff like that. Because like I said, if you do it from a higher angle, you'll tend to look a little bit smaller, but if you do it from a lower angle, you'll look longer. If you happen to have portrait mode on your iPhone, that is something you can also do. They only do one take of these, so it's not gonna be a burst, but you can still do self timer. And I've had some awesome photos that I'll put up here that were on portrait mode. That one you just need to be closer for, so just be aware of that. I know it feels really weird because you're like this close to the camera but it ends up working out. So that's just something that you can also test out to make sure you're in focus, you're in frame and everything like that. The last thing I will say is if you're working with kind of like an ugly, boring background, something that you can also do to make it a little bit more fun is pick up some editing skills. I use PixArt for my photo editing. Basically the way that the app works is that you can do an outline of yourself and then cut yourself out of that and then put yourself on a really fun background. I've done photos like these here that were really fun and it takes maybe about 30-ish minutes for me at least to do that initial outline just because I'm super like nitpicky about it and I try to like edit everything out. Um, to make sure that the cutout comes out well. Most of the time they're able to get it really right. It just depends on the pose because if you're doing a pose where it's like this, having to cut out this part, the app has a hard time recognizing or like if you're wearing cat ears, sometimes it has a hard time recognizing that. That is another way to kind of spruce up your at home photo shoots. I've also been playing around with like photoshopping myself on festival backgrounds, which has been really fun. I did that for EDC. I'll probably do that for Electric Forest. And that's been something fun for me just to like have the at home photo shoot, but then put myself at EDC and do a funny caption as if I went to EDC, even though we were all at home. So that is another way to kind of spruce up your content too. Like I said, I could do a whole video on like Instagram strategy, editing photos, whatever that may be. If you guys are interested in all that, because I love talking about it, comment down below if that is something you guys would like to see. The main things to worry about is your lighting, your angles, poses, try different things. What I'll also do is I'll go on Instagram and I'll save photos of poses of girls that are posing really well <laughs> and I'll save their photos in my Instagram just so if I need some inspiration for a photo shoot or I need inspiration just to like switch it up. I'll go look at what poses they're doing and I'll try and like do something similar or see how I feel because everyone's bodies are different and angles are different and everything. So do what feels comfortable to you. But that is also a really good way I get inspiration. And I've been trying to like switch it up with different places of my home. So I've done stuff out in the living room. I've done stuff on my bed. I've done stuff in this little corner I have here. So I really just try and find different places too. I also have done photo shoots out on my balcony. I'm gonna do a photo shoot out on my balcony this upcoming week. We're all at home in quarantine, so you might as well have fun with it. You can also get some props and stuff like that. Really have fun with it. You're just at home, so you might as well. Uh, get fun backgrounds, whatever it may be. I have an ultimate dream of just having like some type of um, pull down like background, white background. That would be so great if I just had a plain white background that I could add other backgrounds to and stuff. One day, one day I can hopefully have like my own at home studio or something like that. Drop down any questions that you guys have for me. I will put all the products that I use down below so you guys can go check them out. Having just some type of phone attachment to a tripod really can get you started and then you can add things like lighting and a bluetooth remote and stuff like that i hope that this was helpful for you guys if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button to vibe with me and join the vibe tribe i love you guys i hope you're staying safe and healthy out there and i will see you in the next one bye